Welcome to this morning or today's session. We will be exploring jealousy in this session. So first of all, I'd just like you to um, start by warming up the body. We may have just woken up or we may have been sitting at a desk all day. So starting to make small movements with the neck. Dropping the head all the way back, if that feels good. Going the other way. And leaning it to one side. And then the other. Making little twists from side to side, just gently waking up the spine a little bit, allowing it to be able to settle. The hands on the knees, rounding the back so the stomach comes in, We're kind of pulling on the knees as we push back. Inhale, bringing the chest forward, sticking the neck out, dropping the shoulders. And doing that a few more times. Doing what feels good. Maybe we want to roll the shoulders out or whatever movements we need to make so that we can sit through the practice. And when you're ready, coming to a comfortable position. So it can be seated, it can be lying down. You can have the knees up, you can have the legs straight in front of you. you can be sat on a chair. And if you're sat on a chair and if it's comfortable, then don't lean back, but lean up. So we want a nice straight spine for the energy to run from the bottom of the spine all the way up to the crown of the head. And you can either find um, a soft gaze, so you're not really focusing at anything, but the, the gaze is maybe even just like looking at the nose or maybe the eyes closed, whichever feels best for you this morning. And I'd like you to imagine a place where you feel relaxed, where there are no distractions. And it has to be an open space. So maybe a hilltop, a mountain, maybe the open sea or a desert. Maybe even on top of a roof if it's overlooking a valley or something. But a place that makes you go, ah, just relax. Place where you can see for miles. And there's no distractions, nobody's going to bother you. You don't have anything to do. The next 16 minutes, the only job that you have is to sit in this space. Really arrive in that space. So what does it feel like to be sat in this space? What's the temperature like? Are there any smells? Any sounds? As we start to relax into this place, Inhale through the nose, imagining a sense of peace, of calm, compassion, and love. And exhaling out a black cloud or a black light of any tension, any stress, any disturbing thoughts or emotions. 
As we inhale this white light full of peace and happiness and whatever good feelings we need today. Really inhaling through the lungs, lifting up through the rib cage, the shoulders, and then exhale, letting it all drop down, maybe even sighing through the mouth. <sighs> Knowing that when we exhale out this black cloud of whatever we don't want anymore, and it just dissipates, it disappears into the into this big open space. And I would like you to think of a situation where you felt jealous of somebody or um and that could be a quality, like maybe, for instance, somebody does, I don't know, because we're doing meditation, somebody does um, meditation the whole time. Welcome to and, this morning. Um, sorry about that distraction. And maybe, um, you know, there's a quality like somebody always does something, they're really nice, they always seem happy, or they always seem calm. Or a situation where you were mean to somebody. Because jealousy is really about meanness. You know, we, would, we wish kind of, it's almost like we wish harm. Or we don't want them to be happy, and that's mean. So as you reflect on this, I'm going to... Recite the four immeasurables to, um, to radiate love and compassion towards all beings. May all beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be free of suffering and the causes of suffering. May they never be dissociated from the supreme happiness, which is without suffering. May they remain in boundless equanimity, free from attachment to close ones and rejection of others. And as we begin to move into the practice, I would like you to reflect on what harm could be caused to this person if they don't get it. And I don't mean dangerous, you know, life or death harm, but I mean to their their happiness. So for instance, my I, the example that I will bring to the session today is that when I was working on a freelance job, they were waiting for, um, they hired me because the person that they had hired couldn't start for a couple of months and they needed somebody to fill in that time. And I was secret, I loved the job and they had said if they didn't have this other person, they would have hired me full time. And I loved it and I would have stayed. So I found myself thinking, oh, hopefully she doesn't come. Um, and if she did, and then when I found out that she was definitely coming, I was thinking, well, Hopefully she doesn't work out and then they call me and get me back and, and that's really mean. It's, it's not only mean but when you have changes within a workplace that's difficult on anybody and this person, you know, going through changes as well, you know, different job changes in a short amount of time, possibly being without a job is stressful. And so I actually, I actually did this exercise so I thought, um, you know exactly what I said. How would she be harmed? How would her happiness be compromised? So reflecting on your situation. And sometimes a thought creeps into head, our head. Well, that person doesn't deserve it. They're really mean. They're nasty. Or good things always come to them. How come it's not my my time? And there's a reason, possibly, why that person is mean or nasty. Or a reason why you're not getting those things. Maybe you're mean and nasty, and you, and you don't realize it. And 
And if the mind wanders, that's okay. Especially if this is the first time that that you've done this practice, because it's quite difficult accepting and being aware of how we are mean to other people or think meanly about other people and ourselves. So the mind kind of wants to go to more pleasant places, but if we want to be able to be loving and compassionate to ourselves and to others, then it's important to take the time and look at um, look at these issues that we have and explore them and work on changing them if we so choose. Bringing the focus back to this person. And seeing the benefits if they are from them having this this object or this way of living or this job or whatever it might be. What are what are the good things? How is their how is it making them happy? The mind is wandering, bringing it back. And if this is an event that happened in the past, maybe you can think about good things that have happened to you as a result of of not getting whatever it was that you that you're jealous of Accepting this may be a difficult topic to keep focused on. So forgiving the mind for wandering and gently bringing it back to the exercise. And if you are having uh, very much difficulty focusing on this. Perhaps going back to the open space, if we're not imagining that. So this is all happening in our open space. The relaxed and open mind. And now spending some time rejoicing for that other person, saying, I'm glad that for my case, I'm glad she got the job. I'm glad the other crew are happy that she got the job. Or maybe it's a quality, so I'm glad this person is always thinking of other people, you know, we didn't have people like that in the world, it would be quite a difficult place.
And if the mind wanders, understanding that this isn't something that you're going to master in a day, in 20 minutes, in a week, in a month, maybe not even in a year. And allowing the mind to take some space for however long as it focuses is a step in the right direction. Continuing to rejoice that this other person has various things. And becoming aware that the practice is coming to an end. That these good thoughts, these good feelings that we may have generated, again, it's okay if you didn't. Try again another day and that might be more forthcoming. And if that's the case, then, then throwing some positive emotions into a, a rucksack that you can place on your back. So what is it that you want to carry through the day, through the week, in this rucksack, these nice, positive, happy, glowing feelings towards other people, compassionate feelings, loving feelings, loving in the sense that you wish happiness on others. And as we close the bag up and put it on our backs, start to climb down from whatever high point we're on, possibly changing tack on the boat and sailing back into land or if you're in the desert and coming back to society. Maybe feeling a little bit more peaceful, maybe feeling more calm, maybe feeling as if we want to be kind to others. And taking a moment on thinking of one nice thing we can do for somebody. It can be a loved one, a stranger, maybe smiling at somebody on the street, maybe making someone a coffee or a cup of tea. generating these feelings of love and happiness, you can either have the hands in the lap or maybe placing them together by the heart center. And dedicating this practice to somebody who might need some strength, love, comfort, or compassion. Recognizing that this person could also be yourself. Gently opening the eyes Maybe having a warm smile on the face. And taking time to remember how we feel this moment. And if it's a, a sense of serenity or a sense of peacefulness, then remembering that we can come back to this point at any time throughout the day. And maybe this feeling lasts for right now and when you stand up, it goes away and that's okay. And bowing the head and dedication to all of our teachers in whatever form they take and dedicating it to all other sentient beings who are suffering. And I thank you very much for joining me in this practice. Have a lovely day.